So, hi there, Ulf Heckmann here. So, we have just published a new beta version of Zebralet, Zebralet 3, and I just go through a couple of things regarding CPU usage. So, the first beta just didn't work for so many people because it used too much CPU. We have improved that greatly and we have added options and I want to go through these options just quickly. So what have we got here? I have to find this. So I set my I have a Mac Pro here, which is a 3.2 GHz Intel processor. I switched multi-threading, so hyper-threading off and I switched to two four processors to you know get a more realistic out there minimum <laughs> setting. So uh, in this patch, I just it's nothing special, right? It's just something like this. Uh, I created the worst scenario basically. So um, we are modulating curve morph. It's not, it's just the init setting, but we're modulating the curve morph with an LFO. And we have two times spectral decay oscillator effects where we, we also model, uh, modulate the curve set uh, with the uh, what matrix here. So the curve morphs get modulated twice, thrice actually for each voice. Uh, and we play, I just play five notes here and you can see down here at Reaper, um, this went to like uh, 12, 12, maybe 13 percent, right? Uh, that would have been more like 25 percent before. So what did we do? We added, we added, changed the way, um, or we improved the way the curve morph is calculated, and particularly for stuff like uh, in the in the oscillator effects. So a new parameter here is curve maths. It's currently on precise. That's that's the best you can get. But for most, absolutely most presets, you'll be fine with fast. And fast brings us down to 5.4. Right? So less than less than half the CPU is it just with fast. And then there's rough. Rough is a little bit, bit funny. Uh, it makes the curves look uh, jaggy, but if you have just like a sawtooth there, that is fine. Rough is just exactly the same as the others, and it brings it down to like 4.8%. So almost uh, three times as many voices as uh, precise. And then of course you've got resolution. So I run this with 2 kilohertz with a with a sound like this, where it's just a decay and uh, not, let's say, a uh, very fast sync or anything, you'll be fine probably with the default 800 hertz, which brings it down to yeah, 5.3 with precise, so that's half. And then 200 hertz gets us down to 1.7 with precise, and if we combine that, uh, with fast 0 0.93, 0.94 is less than a percent of 0.87. See, there is not much, not much audible difference. So these settings are meant to be used in in their in their highest CPU usage setting for sounds that absolutely need it but not for your everyday sounds where you don't need to do much. Um, plus, there's one thing. So Reaper's, Reaper's display here uh, um, goes by all four cores now. So uh, on a single core, uh, this would be like uh, just under 1% per voice. Right, because we play five voices. If I play four voices, it's exactly what, what it is for, for one voice, right? So yeah, four voices, 0.74, four chorus, so 0.74% per voice. Um, and then worst case, I can do the same thing again. So we do two kilohertz, we go precise, four voices, 
So here it's like 10% for one voice. But that's really worst case with spectral decay and so on and so on. Uh, there's another thing uh, that's not in Zebralet right now, but that we've been working on, and that also works, but it only works, it doesn't work in Zebralet right now, is that we are also supporting um, uh, special processor features like AVX2 and um, AVX 512F. So for most people out there who have an Intel processor, uh, all of these numbers are going to be slashed roughly in half or in a third. So this patch here, which is 10%, will on a modern Intel CPU cost like something between 4 and 5%. And um, yeah, that's just what I wanted to show. Check out resolution, check out maths. Set it down to a lower setting if you experience issues with the CPU. In most cases, you will not hear a difference. It will make a big difference on the CPU. That's what I wanted to say. Enjoy. And it's on KVR in our uh, customer, or no, no, what's it called? Support forum, company forum. That's where you can download the beta right now and use it. And we've got a new dark mode as well. Thanks for listening and watching.